Yo, what's up? It's Flint Town Boy, and uh, I just, uh, hey, <laughs> maybe about a good hour ago, um, I went to go out this door right here, and it was two police officers going into this house across from us. Uh, if you don't know, because I haven't uh, kept you up to uh, date with what went on, Friday when I got back from running some errands for my mother, uh, came in, uh, plugged my phones up and was about to do my video, video diaries, and uh, what ended up happening was uh, uh, I uh, plugged my phones up and charged them, and uh, uh, oh, the NCAA tournament is on. Ooh, I forgot all about the NCAA tournament tonight. Oh, my God. Um, but what happened was uh, uh, I had plugged my phones up because they were kind of low to charge them. And lo and behold, I come in the bathroom. You know, it had to be a little bit after 10. I had got in at uh, 10, uh, 45. And so it was a little at the 11. Around 11.15, I'm in the bathroom, and I hear do 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 And it sounds so close, I wanted to jump on the floor. Literally jump on the floor and get down. And I had a lot of uh, reason to uh, want to do that because right behind this complex is a complex where uh, the shooting took place. And so tonight, the police were out here uh, looking for, uh, I don't know what they were looking for, but I saw them going into that house, and I said, ooh, yeah, let me turn around. I don't want no part of this. I saw two policemen going in there, and I heard the whole SWAT team was out there. Yeah, they uh, kicked in the guy's door Friday, shot at him. He shot back, killed the guy. They said it sounded like it was self-defense, but it's a third gun. They were looking, it was third, it was three casings, three gun shell casings. So that means it's a third person involved in this. And so that's who I believe they're looking for, that third gun, a third person. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah, that's the... Uh, That's the Regencies for you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, what's new? Now you see why people want to get the heck up out of here. Uh, but um, coming to you live from the Regencies on the south side. And it's an ongoing thing. Like I said, that happened Friday. Uh, day forensics were out there like... They didn't move his body. He got killed at 11.15. They didn't move his body until like 10 o'clock in the, anywhere from 8 to 10 o'clock in the morning. They didn't move his body. I heard there's still a lot of blood in there. Uh, there was some girls they took down to, uh, to jail. And, and, you know, it's, hey, you know. It's the Regencies. What do you expect? It's so hard to believe that when me, my brother, and my mother stayed out here in the early 80s, this place was quiet and peaceful and tranquil. You know, you still hear the train. I remember being upstairs because me and my brother's bed was right across from my mother's bed. And my brother used to say, shut up before I throw you out that window. And me and him had to share a bed because we were real young, you know, um, Shoot, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, I was like three, four, and he was like uh, five or six. So we were real young, and our mama bed was right across from our bed, uh, and uh, that was in the early 80s. This place by the early 90s was run down, but now... As you, you know, you're in the 2010s, it's horrible. It is a war zone. It's fights out here that people be putting on Facebook. Almost daily shootings out here almost daily, every other day, multiple times a week.
people getting killed. Like if you Google the Regencies in Flint, Michigan, all you see is like policemen putting up yellow tape like they did out back. You literally could go right out this door right here and you would have saw that yellow tape that was outside Friday. Because in the back, back here, uh, just directly behind us is the uh, apartment complex where the guy was shot at. So it's this is Regency life living. Um, I can't take it. I just I can't take it. This is this is not good. All right, live from the south side of Flint in Flint, Michigan. Regency on the south side it is uh I have no idea what time it is. <clears throat> Gotta get to this game, y'all. It is uh 10:34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. April the 4th, 2016. And uh, this is not my uh, video diary, of course. I'm sending this one to uh, straight to uh, YouTube. So this is my YouTube update, y'all. Play uh, time, boy. Get ready. Get out and out of here. Yeah, so it was a 44-year-old guy shot dead right in the back of us uh, Friday. I should have did a video Friday. It was so hectic out here. Like Saturday and Sunday, you could hear pin drops out here. This place usually have people hustling and bustling. Not after that. Somebody gets shot multiple times. Eh, it kind of stops people from getting up and doing stuff, you know. All right, y'all. I got to get to this NCAA game. It's down there off now, I guess. All right. Uh, peace out, y'all. Flintown boy saying deuces from the Regencies.